السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته grade 11 DP students today inshallah I'm going to solve three uh, IB exam questions uh, on Newton's uh, second law uh, the, first, the steps I would like to remind you about the steps before to solve any question that is related to Newton first or second law first step you have to write the given check the units Make sure the units are consistent. What do I mean by consistent? All the units either are in SI unit or a Gaussian unit. For length is centimeter, for mass gram, and for time is second. Or SI unit. SI unit. SI unit for length we use meter. For mass we use kilogram. And for time we use second. Second step, you have to draw free body diagram, all the forces that is acting on the object. Determine the direction of motion or the direction of acceleration. And remember, forces that are in the same direction of motion, these, for, these forces are positive. Forces in the opposite direction are negative. Then you have to determine the component of the forces in horizontal direction and vertical direction. So X and Y component, and then you apply Newton first or second law, sometimes both, or either one of them. Let's start with the first IB exam question. You have two masses hang from a pulley as shown. Deter calculate the acceleration of the smaller mass. So first step, I have to draw a free body diagram. I have two objects. So free body diagram for each one of them. Here I have a here I have a rope or st uh, string. So here I have a tension, tension force. Since they are the same rope, so they will be the same tension. I can call it T or FT. So here I have T. Down I have a gravity, FG. And how can I calculate the gravity? Mass times free fall acceleration. For simplicity, we can use G equals ten meter per second square so 1 times 10 will be 10 in Newton the other object which is 3 kilogram I will have the same tension force up and down I have the gravity force mass times acceleration so it will be 30 in Newton second step I have to determine the direction of motion the direction of acceleration it will move in the direction of the biggest mass. The biggest mass, it's the three kilogram mass. So this object will move down on this object. One kilogram, it will move up. So this is the direction of motion. Then if uh, X and Y, I don't have X component, it's only in Y direction. So I will take each one of these objects separately. So I will start with the small, small mass, small mass. One kilogram. Forces in the direction of motion are positive. So this one in direction of motion is positive. If G, it's in the negative direction. So it will be negative. In the opposite direction of motion. So it will be T minus 10. T minus 10 will equal mass times acceleration. This is a Newton second law summation of forces. In Y direction will equal in A. So mass is 1 times acceleration A. This is equation one. And then we'll take the large mass, or the biggest mass, the big mass, large mass, uh, three kilogram. I'm going to apply Newton's second law because here I have motion, I have acceleration. So same thing, summation of forces in y direction equal zero. Now, Forces in the direction of motion is positive. So if G, this one is positive, T, it will be negative. So when I write the solution, I will write it as such. I will start with 30, it's positive, minus T will equal mass, sorry here, mass has acceleration because I have motion, mass 3 acceleration A. And this is equation number two. Now, in the question, he wants me to find the acceleration. The acceleration. Both of them, they, they will have the same acceleration because they attach to the same rope. So, I have two equations, 
two equation with two unknown with two unknown i can solve these two equation either by substitution or by elimination i can eliminate one of the variable get rid of one of the variable i can get rid of t to get rid of t i should have the same t with different sign and i already have same t as you see here and different sign so what can i do just add these two equation together so add add i'm going to add equation one and equation two equation one and rewrite it equation one is t minus 10 will equal a equation two is 30 30 minus t will equal 3a add when i add t and minus t they cancel each other out 30 minus 10 i'll get 20 equal 3 plus 1 4a i need a so divide both sides by 4 by 4 and i'll get a 20 divided by 4 it's 5 meter per second squared if the question asks me to find the tension force so in this case i can substitute in either one of these equation either equation one or equation two substitute in either one of them to find t okay the other ib question let's read the question determine the given make sure they are uh, in SI unit or all the units are consistent and then draw free by diagram. So I have a thin string is attached to five kilogram mass. This is M, which is placed on one meter high table. This is the table. The height of the table from here till here is one meter. The string is so thin that it will break with a force 40 newton so here i have a tension force t if t equal 40 newton 40 newton what will happen to the string the string will break so t should be less than less than 40 equal 40 or mm, it will be the maximum force that string would will uh, uh, tolerate okay now so cannot be uh, so cannot be used to lift the mass however if the mass is allowed to accelerate downward so i have the direction of acceleration what downward this is direction of motion downward the string can be used to lower the mass to the ground without breaking calculate the maximum speed here i have motion in which direction y direction so i need vy i need to find vy okay so here I have the direction of motion. I need to draw free by a diagram. What is the other force I have down? I have gravity, Fg, which equal to mass times acceleration. Mass is five, mass is five times 10, so it will be 50 in Newton. Second step after I draw free by a diagram. Yes, Newton, second law because I have acceleration. So summation of forces in y direction will equal mass times acceleration. Forces in the same direction of acceleration is positive. So this one is positive. This one will be what? Negative. So I will have 50. 50. Minus tension force will equal m is 5. Five, and the value of acceleration I don't know the maximum tension force we said is what 40 so here I can just substitute instead of T I can use Forty, because this is the maximum tension force. So I'll have ten will equal five a divided by five divided by five. I will get the acceleration in y direction is two meter 
per second square. I need to find the velocity. It's a free fall. Free fall. So the initial speed in y direction is zero. I need to find the maximum speed just before it hit the ground. I have the acceleration. I have already the acceleration. It's not, it's not free fall acceleration. I have acceleration in y direction is two meter per second square. So the equation v in y direction square will equal u initial in y direction square plus 2a times distance. Distance is 1. This is the distance. I can use it um, s or y. So this is the distance. Substitute, this is 0. So vy square will equal 2 times 2 times the acceleration 2 and then take square root both sides, you will get v in y direction equal 2 meter per second. The last question. Here you have a mass, sphere mass, is suspended from a ceiling inside a train by a thread. The train accelerates along a horizontal track, so this is the direction of acceleration, direction of motion. What is the value of this acceleration? It's 2 meter per second square. 2 meter per second square. I need to calculate the tension, the tension in the string. So here I need to draw a free bay diagram. From my object, which is the sphere, I can draw the forces acting on this object. So I have here Fg, gravity, and I have a tension force because I have uh, string, so tension force. This is x and this is y. I need to find the component of this tension force. The angle here, theta, is the same as the angle here. It's alternate interior angle. They're equal. So here, this one, it will be t cosine theta, t cosine theta, and here, t sine theta. So I have x and y now, x and y component for the forces. Forces in y direction, they're, they're balanced. I don't have motion in y direction. So t, so t cosine theta, Newton first law, t cosine theta will equal mg. In y direction, this is a restoring force. So here I have acceleration, so summation of forces. In x direction will equal mass times acceleration. So t sine theta will equal ma. This is equation 1, and this is equation 2. I can divide this equation because I don't have the angle theta and I don't have t. I need to get rid of at least one of the variables. So divide equation, divide equation 1 and 2, divide. Equation 1 by 2, I will have T sine theta will equal MA divided by the other equation divided by T cos sine theta will equal MG. T and T, they cancel each other out, M and M, so I get rid of two variables actually. So sine divided by cosine, it will give you tan theta will equal A divided by G. A we calculated already, we have it already is 2 divided by 10. Take sine inverse, take tan inverse, so theta tan inverse of 2 divided by 10, you will get theta equal 11.3 degree. And I can find the tension force by substituting in any of these equations. I can substitute in equation 1 to find, so equation 1, T. Cosine, cosine 11.3 will equal mg, m is 0.5 times 10, and I can find t. If you calculate it, t will equal 5.1 in Newton. That's it. Thank you, and have a great day.